we begin tonight with that wild scene in a Westland neighborhood that people are still talking about. Police say a woman intentionally plowed into cars, injuring a man. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. We're learning that woman could face a judge as soon as tomorrow. Police believe that the suspect had been drinking and doing drugs when it all unfolded in a usually quiet neighborhood. Now, in one of those crashes, she went after a man and his wife who were in their garage. Tonight, the wife of that man who was severely injured is opening up to 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig about the stranger who made them a target. This is not the story Haley Vinsco ever wanted to tell, but she said it's important that people hear from her just how a complete stranger tried to kill her and her husband. That stranger first ramming into a neighbor's car across the street and then peeling forward, heading straight for Haley and Luke as they stood in their driveway, pinning Luke under a car. She admitted to wanting to murder us and send us to God. The woman who was on a rampage with her SUV slammed into the Vinsco's vehicles twice, pinning Haley's husband, Luke, under one of the cars. She hit them again and were screaming, like, what are you doing? And when I tried to reach into her car to turn her car off, she laughed in my face. People living in the area of Wildwood and Florence were in shock. Ahmad Allen grabbing this cell phone video of some of the rampage. Police say the woman was intentionally crashing into cars and then aiming for Luke and Haley. They had just returned home from their first date night since giving birth to twin boys. It was horrific. Just a man being in his garage and they didn't know the lady. Um, I believe that she used to live there and she was looking for somebody that um, she used to date. Sadly, Luke's injury is so severe, doctors had to amputate a large part of his right leg. It's going to change everything. My husband doesn't have his right leg. His left foot is broken. He's going to have to learn to walk again. Haley and her family wonder if this could have been prevented because they later learned that police had been notified of the woman causing an earlier disturbance in the area. Police say their officer had to respond to something more urgent, but they're looking into how it was all handled. It's infuriating that they could have prevented all of this from happening. The woman expected to be in court tomorrow. I think she knows exactly what she was doing. I think she found humor and enjoyment in it. As Luke remains in ICU, a close family friend has started to raise money online to help with expenses as it'll be a long road ahead for him and his young family. Him and I have always been a team and we always will be and we know as long as we have each other, we'll figure it out. In Westland, Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit.